All right, guys. <coughs> uh, bien, uh, bonsoir, bienvenue, I should say. Uh, hello and welcome back to another battle featuring 17th century Europe. We are off the coast of Italy here in the Mediterranean, part of the Franco-Dutch War for the Battle of Palermo. Uh, you guys are in for a treat. We've got uh, 2v2 for you guys, so I'm only going to be controlling half of the French fleet here, and they're victorious, but to honestly, the way this battle unfolds, I wouldn't call it a victory. Uh, victorious battle against the Spanish. I've got some really fun music for you guys. It's French Sea Shanties. Figured that was a little bit better since we are dealing with the French fleet here. But, uh, so we've got a scale of 2 to 1, so each ship you're going to see here is going to represent 2 that would have been at the Battle of Palermo. And guys, this one is a grudge match, to say the least. Um, a lot of explosions, I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, a lot of just brutal uh, ramming, and not even like, you know, the galleys, and there are a lot of galleys. You know, these things are built for ramming, but just giant warships ramming into each other because that's all they've got left. Uh, there's some boarding, and I don't want to give too much away, but uh, it is going to be a brutal, with a capital brrr, battle. So we've got the French fleet divided in half. Uh, I've got one half, the other has the other half. And then for uh, our opponents, we've got one army of the Dutch or the United Provinces and the other of Spain. So the ships involved here for the French, we've got 24 battleships, 5 frigates, 25 galleys, 9 fire ships. And we're going to use the rocket ships to represent those. For Spain and the Netherlands, they have 14 battleships, 11 frigates, 19 galleys, and 4 fire ships. And then again, we'll use the uh, rocket ships to represent the fire ships. So it looks like the other French fleet is going to engage first. They're going to go for the Spanish, and that's actually going to be my strategy too. Initially, I hoped these guys would be a little bit more strategic, but, <laughs> uh, well, you, you'll see. But my initial plan is to send my fleet along this route right here. Uh, the Spanish portion is mostly the galleys, so we can take them out pretty easily and then focus on the Dutch boys. <laughs> uh, but what I did not account for is my companion army... Being, or I guess I should say companion fleet, being far less strategic. So what ends up happening is a giant mosh pit of ships over here, and it'll force me to really rethink my strategy. Looks like some of the French Marines get some shots off with their muskets. Let's see if we can see any of those boys up on the crow's nest. I don't see any of them. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple. Get some nice early shots. Now, this is a bold move by this ship. I think the idea was to try to uh, get into a position to fire both sides. But the downside to doing that, that's never really a great strategy. Uh, sometimes it's called threading the needle. It's nice if you've got a line that's doing the same. But if you're only setting one ship to do that... You're going to get it surrounded really fast, and it's going to retreat really fast. I'm going to raise the volume for you guys, because I love hearing the sound of the cannons. But, and you're going to see it. This thing's going to, all, this thing's already wavering. It's just going to get wrecked by all these Spanish ships. It doesn't stop the French police from getting shots off with their muskets, though.
So I think the idea was it was trying to board. I don't I don't know which ship it was trying to board. And we're actually gonna get rid of those flags real quick. Um, so sorry about that. Being a little bit cooler looking. There we go. I think the idea was it was trying to board somebody, but it's already routed. Uh, they've taken some heavy casualties already and continue to. So here are my ships coming in. So the Spanish galleys trying to get some land again. Got a Spanish fifth rate, so this is one of our battleships. Ooh, and it looks like the Spanish fire ships may be uh, already in play out there. Now I have my ships on chain shot, so hopefully we can take out some of the mass of these uh, massive Spanish warships. We'll play them more until for you guys. But it looks like the Dutch boys are on their way. Taking a hit for the fire ships. We got a couple of space ships back here losing their mouth. And uh, got a rocket ship firing. Maybe it's one of the first galleries. Ooh, direct hit. Now taking some cannon shots from one of the Spanish warships. So you can see from the sky now how much of a boss pit is happening right here. And, uh, and my ships are just now getting to the battle too, so <laughs> that is going to be brutal. That's a uh, singing on this ship right now. It's just boring, so I'm not quite sure if you guys go in for it. That's a place taking up the back of the uh, glory also. That was really interesting. <laughs> we got this uh, galley beam pushed around by two ships. Got some sails get knocked around on the uh, Octeon. The uh, frigate, <coughs> Santa Catalina, gets a shot up. No doubt has some uh, Marines getting some pot shots with the muskets as well. Very close to reach. Looks like you may be seeing and boarding. Let's see here. Oh no, those are both friends. Okay. So this is where I rotate my ships. I'm going to instead focus on staying out of this mosh pit and take on the Dutch. Which is not going to be easy because they're the strongest of the two armies stacked against them. But I am going to leave my fire ships on their current route. So that's going to allow them to get some shots off with their rockets. Uh, if we can see them out there. On 
the shape of this box pit on here. There is a lot of smoke rising from this box pit. La compagnie de Monsieur Barbier, le capitaine qui le commande, à l'aise, c'est vrai, les fonds méchants. Looks like the first rocket ship here is the right pit. Could it take out some of our stronger uh, fire ships? Pour être heureux, nos équipages qui voulaient toujours naviguer, croyez-moi, ne faites pas campagne à bord d'un clipper marqueur zébré, à bord d'un clipper marqueur zébré. It looks like the Dutch are pretty well joining this box pit. Matin quand il se lève et quand il monte Oh, we see an explosion. The first of what will be many during this battle. I believe that was a Spanish galley. Looks like the accumulation of several volleys from the broadside for the other French fleet. Yeah, the Dutch Marines coming in with fire, getting their muskets into the battle. So yeah, I'm going to pause here again. I'm just kind of redirecting my ships into a new position. My fire ships get the shot on, but they are also starting to get targeted down. So I don't foresee so my fire ships lasting very long. Que l'on veille bien au voisillage, que les garnis soient bien fourrés. Je ne veux pas que l'on réplique, faut être sévère à commander. Galleys trying to get out of this rapidly deteriorating situation here in the market. Croyez-moi, ne faites pas campagne à bord d'un clipper à gueule de bré. Several ships inside the danger zone. Already surrendered. Got the French galley. Got a, a Spanish galley. Trying to put the fire out. And you can see the massive number of uh, ships trying to take out my fire ships. Si je ne dis pas que 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 je ne dis pas so you can see my rocket ships are starting to get a little bit too close now, and I'm pretty sure they will be taken out of the battle. So you can stop them from firing until the very last. Potential uh, possible murder. Got several ships out there losing the loss. And there we go, my commander has gone down. Or that might have been actually the other ship's commander as well. Oh, and we got a ship exploded. I believe that was a rocket ship just took a little too many hits from this. That got bigger. Six rate. And that may have been my last fire ship. Like we may have another explosion over here. That day, the French... I don't even say what the name of that ship is. Wow. Guess they ran out of names. Uh, this uh, first fire ship, it looks like the crew is jumping ship. This thing's about to blow, guys. I 
I think most of these guys are going to get up. Looks like they're getting off the boat pretty quickly. There it goes. Nine, nine more screws. Come on, get off, get off, get off, please. Come on, get off the boat. Oh, that might be all that will get it out. Oh, and there it goes with eight screws still on board. The unnamed Fred Battleship. No doubt, uh, Oh, and another ship explodes. What are the Dutch boys? Again, no doubt, causing damage to some of the nearby vessels. And we have a better ship to find finally the double ship of the boat. But this one looks like they may be able to put the fire on. Though it has to be ordered, which is kind of one of the nice things to do about a ship of fire. Once it's surrendered, the fleet can kind of devote everything to... Getting the fires put out. Don't you trip up, don't fume, I don't the 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 that was a rocket ship that uh, may have exploded or maybe just fell. Now there is still, I believe, a Spanish fire ship out there somewhere. A rocket ship, here we go, but it is loud and loud, Man, I'm not even going to try to put out that one. Dude, that's the more strange carbon up out there. Ooh, it looks like a nice little closure over here. Not sure what ship this is. Oh, this is one of ours. Ooh. No doubt, cost of damage to uh, Jaeger. Sacrifice to him. And even the flag got changed. You can see it still poking out of the water. And that actually forced Jaeger to surrender. So a little bit too much damage from that uh, soldier. Looks like uh, this ship here may be sinking the galley because a lot of the crew are jumping ship with the lieutenant on board, I guess. Lieutenant, so, uh, by the way, he's a Canadian officer with a smaller vessel, like a galley. So this is where I think I am the only one with kids left from the two French suits. So I'm going to try to reposition my kids and get the heart out of this 
It looks like that was a Spanish hit from the flag. But not entirely sure, I think it was a Spanish hit. Yeah, the Madres. J'ai rencontré la plus charmante Puis que la reine jolie marie Puis que la reine va l'en nous coucher Chez l'hôtesse, elle était servante Oh là, oh là, j'ai mis le cap dessus de sa chambre Puis que la reine jolie marie Puis que la reine va l'en nous coucher Elle me dit Qu'est-ce que tu vas prendre Oh là là, oh là 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 Du vin, du racco, bien de la viande Et que la baleine, jolie baleine Et que la baleine, allons-nous coucher Je répondis de tout, je demande Oh là, oh là 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 J'ai la montre, c'est la coupe de l'ordre Et que la baleine, jolie baleine Et que la baleine, allons-nous coucher J'allais tant que ça fente Oh là, oh là 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 Mais au petit jour je donnais de la bande Puis que la baleine, jolie baleinier Puis que la baleine, allons-nous coucher Mais un jour, pour mieux la reprendre Oh là, oh là 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 Un jour je reviendrai à Nantes Puis que la baleine, jolie baleinier Puis que la baleine va l'en nous coucher La vie comme dans le bord de Nantes Oh là, oh là 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 J'ai rencontré la plus charmante Puis que la baleine, jolie baleinier Puis que la baleine va l'en nous coucher Santo Cristo de Burgos De Burgos Michael Sincata, do you say? Fifth-rated flames over here for the Dutch. Now there is a. I'm trying to find out where where it is. But so there's this one situation that's really cool that unfolds. So I want to make sure I don't miss for you guys. Uh, but basically, what happens is one of the Dutch ships tries to board one of mine, and because my ships are moving, oh, we just land the sky, uh, and that's going to cause the. Uh, but that mask is on fire, so we may have actually just saved that boat. Okay, so I think it's about to happen. So what happens is the Dutch ship tries to board one of us. So, they're about to board us. They get their, like, hooks in and everything. And then I have a ship that just wedges itself accidentally in between the two boats. So, because the Dutch ship is trying to board us, all of their crew abandoned the judge. It looks like we may have a safety ship over here. Uh, they can't fire the cannon. But my crew, because it's being boarded, they are still boarding the cannon. So they just keep hammering this boat while the boat that's wedged in between them just sits back and has the Marines take pot shots with muskets. And it's awesome. But uh, this ship is definitely sinking. I think it's too slow, but. I don't think they're going to explode because, uh, fortunately, the ocean's going to put that fire out. Oh, I don't know. That boat is mighty spreading. That fire is spreading rapidly on the piece of ship that's still out of the water. Let's take a look. We have three people still on board. It must be maybe it's the captain. We got one crewman up on the mast there. Love and 
Solid moment. Pour one out for uh, the homies that no longer with us. And we'll be going down with the ship. It looks like the ocean did put that fire out. But that ship is gone. Yeah, we were just taking on this. Yeah, so that means San Francisco de Assis. Made after St. Francis of Assisi. This is a for the Santa Catalina. Now this is coming back to the fight, but it's immediately thrown. So it looks like we've got uh, two dead vessels left, three dead vessels left. Right? Even a straight-form man in six foot. And I think there's a Spanish ship somewhere in the back. There it is, Santa Cruz de Diego. I mean, we've seen that one before. So we're going to focus on taking the Dutch out. If we can take the Dutch out, I believe they uh, final standard ship is I guess I think this is the one that tries to board us. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, this is it, so you can hear it. You're getting ready to board, and this is the ship that the uh, wedge is in between us. Oh, it looks like my ship was the one that tried to board. And here's the wedge. And it's just three ships all next to each other. Man. Muskets coming out. Oh, that guy just went down. You can hear the cannon going off. Both ships, it looks like. And this is about where the battle ends, guys. So, uh, want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon subscribers, the Todd Tarkis, Bob Wilson, uh, the Locagos, Melissa Carter, and Neil Christie. If you guys are interested in joining our Patreon, you can get to the link in the video description below. If you guys like this battle, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more battles from 17th century years, you can the link in the video description. Or, oh, wow, sorry. Let me know in the comments below which battles you'd like to see. Here's the heart. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reactions, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But it uh, looks like we've got the Admiral Church Peter Stan Reese. It's frigate and it's not wavering. Frigate more shit than it's boss pit. Oh man. Rapidly deteriorating battle. Uh, but it looks like the last of the Dutch ships have either surrendered or sunk or routed. So guys, that's the battle. Thank you for watching.